Welcome to Spirit and Life once again. Uh, it's been a time of, you know, refreshing, learning how to walk in honor. We have seen that honor means to receive great esteem and respect, to be dignified, to be, to be lifted, promoted. Honor also means to give great respect, you know, to dignify someone, to esteem someone greatly, to, to lift up someone, you know, greatly. And we know that the source of, you know, true honor and lasting honor is God. God honors those who honor him. And that is why we we saw that God wants you to honor him. When you honor God, he will honor you. He says those who honor him, he will honor. Those who esteem him, he will esteem. But those who dishonor him, he will likely esteem. And we looked at the various ways by which you can honor God. You honor him with your life, with your time, with your money. You honor him by praising and worshiping him. And today, I want us to look at one other important thing about walking in honor. And that is that God himself wants you to be a honorable person. God wants you to be honorable. He wants you to walk in honor. God wants you to have self-respect. God wants you to carry yourself with dignity. God wants you to be a man of your words. God wants people to see you as a person of honor, as someone that is dignified. And this is because God himself is a God of honor. Amen. He holds his words sacred. He doesn't talk anyhow. He doesn't walk anyhow. Our God carries himself with glory, with esteem, with majesty. And that is exactly the way he wants his children to be. When God speaks, he doesn't speak a lie. He speaks the truth. Whatever he says comes to pass. That is how to be honorable. When God makes a promise, the Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? And shall he not do it? So when God says something, he does it. When God makes a promise, he fulfills it. That is how to be honorable. Amen? God does not deceive anyone. He does not lie to anyone. And that's exactly what God wants from you. He wants you to be a man, a woman of honor. He wants you to be honorable. How will you be honorable? How will you be a man of honor? By being a man or woman of your words, God wants you to hold your words sacred. He wants you to guard your words. And you guard your words by guarding your heart. The Bible says that the heart is where the issues of life come from. How will you be a person of honor? By guarding your conduct. Because your conduct will define you. Your conduct will define you. When your conduct is unruly, you lose honor. You lose respect. So you guard your words. You guard how you talk. You guard how you behave. And how are you going to guard your conduct? 1 Corinthians 15, 31 says, evil communication, corrupt good manners. It means you guard the people you work with. You know, the, the, the people you work with will determine whether you receive honor or not. If you work with people who do not behave themselves respectably, people will not honor you. How do you walk as a person of honor? It's by guarding your appearance, how you appear. 
There's a popular saying that it is how you dress that you will be addressed. When you dress without thinking of who you are, without, I mean, thinking of respecting yourself, you'll be disrespected by people who see you. So to walk as a person of honor, you need to appear respectfully. Amen. Avoid to dishonor yourself by wrong conduct of stealing and, you know, lying. You bring dishonor to yourself when you talk to people anyhow. You bring dishonor to yourself when you are proud. When you look down people, when you address people in a way that is not respectful, you lose honor. When you are disloyal to your leaders, to your friends, to your colleagues, you lose honor, you lose respect. Disloyalty is about being unfaithful to them. When you talk behind your friends, you, you talk behind your leader, you criticize behind, you lose honor, you lose respect. When you engage in murmuring, you lose honor, you lose respect. Beloved, God wants you to be honorable and you walk honorable by carrying yourself with respect. In 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 6, Saul and his servants, when they were looking for the asses of Saul's father, they began to talk among themselves that they needed to go and see Samuel. And why were they going to see Samuel? It was because they saw him as a man of honor, very honorable. Let me read that scripture. It says, and he said unto him, Behold, now there is in this city a man of God. Not all men of God are men of honor. Not all men of God are honorable. It is your conduct and your words that de define whether people will give you honor or not. Now, what did they say about Samuel? He says, he is a, an honorable man. And how did they know he's honorable? They say, all that he said come to pass. Now let us go thither. Paraventure, he can show us our way that we may go. Now you can see from the discussion between Saul and his servant that when you are honorable, you attract people to yourself. To solve their problems. But when you are not honorable. Nobody wants to associate with you. Samuel was identified. As a man of honor. Because he was a man that. That kept his word. He was a man. That whatever he said will come to pass. He was a man that was not given to giving false prophecies. He was not given to giving false assurances. Whether as a brother. Or as a minister. Or as a preacher. I want you to note that God's desire for you is to walk in honor. Refuse to be dishonorable. Reject anything that will make you re, uh, dishonorable. And I'm praying for you today that as you commit yourself to be a man of your words, as you commit yourself to be a loyal and faithful person, as you commit yourself to be a man of good character, as you commit yourself today, to carry yourself honorably and dress well and appear honorably, that the Lord God will cause men to honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Spirit.